What's going on you guys? My name is Ben Can, and if you guys didn't already know, this is my dad's 1932 Ford and it hasn't been started in a long time and it hasn't been on the road even longer. So today we're gonna start it up and see what happens. So I just wanted to let you guys know that my dad and I are gonna start working on these hot rods and getting them back on the road. As you saw, we got the bug running, so that's all good. So now it's on to these guys. So if you guys don't already know, this is my dad. He's pretty cool, so you might want to go follow him. But you want to explain to him about your hot rod? Sure. Uh, this is my Deuce Coupe. It's chopped four inches. It was originally built in 1959, so it's a survivor. So the car's been parked for 10 years, unfortunately. I felt pretty bad about it a lot of the time. I'm lucky to have this car. Anyway, I was driving on the freeway going like 65, 70 miles an hour. Lost the steering. Came apart. I was totally able to get to the side of the road safely. Then I put it back together, drove a little bit further, and then started having some noises in either the rear end or the transmission. I went to the show I was going to, which was the LA Roadster show to meet my club. And then uh, I drove it home. I took it, started taking it apart. And then we got sidetracked on all kinds of other stuff. And it just unfortunately sat for that long. So today we were talking and we thought maybe it'd be a little inspiring to get us going on if we just get the thing running. <laughs> so we're gonna try and get the engine going. Take this off. All right, so one of the first things that we have to do to get this thing running is find a generator. I think I have an extra generator in the garage so it'll work just temporary just so we could see if we could get it even started up. So as you can see, our garage is a disaster right now. That's one of the reasons the car is outside and we were trying to get it started. All right, we're gonna take this generator off this old engine. So my dad is a lot smarter than me in that he <laughs> labels all the wires and stuff so he knows where it goes. I always just think I'm going to memorize it and <laughs> sometimes I forget. <laughs> That's the way to do it. So I'm just going to assume the battery's dead since it's been a couple of years. So the battery's in the back so we're just going to go charge it up right now. So when was the last time you put gas in this? It's been a while, <laughs> but just recently I drained the tank. So we're going to put a little bit of gas in the carburetor and then we're going to put some gas in the tank and see if we can fire it up. <laughs> All right, the first gas in many years. All right, so we put in a couple gallons, so hopefully that's enough. All right, I'm pretty excited, even though it's just a little thing, but we're gonna try and start this thing up. I'm gonna put it in neutral, uh, because we don't know what's wrong with the drive line, and then uh, make sure the fuel pump works, and uh, hopefully start it, it up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no fuel pump. So we're gonna hook up the uh, battery charger again. You're in a very funny position right now. <laughs> All right, the fuel pump's working, so the battery's working. All right, ready? So it looks like the battery doesn't have enough juice, so we're gonna let it charge for a bit longer, but if that doesn't work out, we'll steal a battery from another car, and hopefully that will do the job. All right, you're gonna try one more time? Yeah. What do you think? Battery what? might be not uh, good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we've been charging it for a little while. Um, we're gonna see what we got, if anything. I don't think it's gonna work. I know. <laughs> we got a steel battery from someone else. Yeah, we're gonna get bad news with battery. What do you think's wrong? Is the carburetor not working or what's... 
I don't know. One of the jets was kind of clogged, but mm. oh, oh. <laughs> that's good. What? The coil wire's not on. Oh. <laughs> So it's That's not getting a spark. Okay. <laughs> that will do it. Maybe that'll help. <laughs> that doesn't look good, Dad. Look it. What? Whoa, what the fuck? It's leaking out of... Where's that coming out of? Oh, this this line right here? Yeah. So we found that nut is loose, so it was leaking out all the fluid. So we just tighten it, so hopefully that stops it from flowing out. It's leaking. It's leaking. Here. What? High five. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. What With type oil. of fluid is that though? It's oil. So this is the culprit. The uh <laughs> it's very brittle. <laughs> Guess it's old. <laughs> so anyway, but this so this has a hole in it, so you know it was leaking out this and and that because it's fitting. So Ben was looking at this and we were trying to think of something real quick we could, um, without a hole so we could cap it off so we could just run the car for now. And he said, well, that looks kind of like the size of a, a chrome valve stem cap. And it appears that it'll work, so I had this one. So we're gonna try and put it on and see if we could do it. Hopefully it works. It doesn't spew oil everywhere. <laughs> It's not leaking. It's not? No. Whoa! I love the way this thing looks without the hood on. As a kid, my dad would run it this way, so it looks strange when the hood's on. So that was awesome. It started, that was like the first step of this process, but we found out that the battery's bad on it, and that the oil pressure tube was leaking out. So the tube that goes to the oil pressure gauge was split in half and it was just spewing oil all over the place. But that's an easy fix. So if you guys like these videos, let me know because it would be cool to get these cars back on the road. This one, it's gonna need some work. Like we're gonna have to go through the brakes, drive line, but I think we should do it. So let us know. Mm -hmm.